Yo, what is going on you guys? My name is Gambit and today we are back with a new Clash Royale video and this one's a brand new mortar deck that I'm bringing to you guys uh, because I have been wanting to make mortar deck videos because last season when I actually passed 5k for the first time I did it with a mortar deck but that mortar deck isn't super good anymore and this one is pretty pretty strong. I really do enjoy this. The only problems I'm having is lava loon which is obvious by looking at it because there is so much um, to kill but before we get into it we're actually going to upgrade the poison spell we have plenty of gold right now I've been meaning to do this there we go level six poison feels good man we're on our way to maxed out archers guys then we're gonna start working on the knight and then probably the ice spirit because those are the cards I'm using in every single deck right now so let's jump into some ladder matches Unfortunately, all my replays for Clash Royale is gone, so I can't show you a replay. I wanted to show you a replay against the Royal Giant, um, but let's see how we do. And keep in mind, I'm only at 4,600 trophies. I mean, it's okay, it's just not super good, and I haven't battled at all today. My plan was to show a replay first. Let's go ahead and log in night. Um, we should be doing all right. Ooh, uh, a little, that's a... Pretty ballsy freeze from you, buddy. All right, now we got a mortar. Perfect. This is your ideal mortar setup right here, guys. You want to be able to hit, or you want to have a knight and archers. Now, that infernal tower will be problematic. Um, I don't think we'll have too much of a problem with it if those archers ever did shoot it. Ooh. Come on, log, log. Oh, that doesn't kill it? Okay, it's all right. We'll still get a couple mortar shots. Um, at this point, I'm not going to help defend that. If he wants to spam down 8 Elixir on a 4 Elixir card, that's okay, guys. You'll get him eventually. I have no want to push him that hard right now. I know he's up on up on the lead just because of that free spell. It was buck nasty. Um, let's just get a bandit down and take care of this Valkyrie. Should do it no problem. All right. He's going to fire spirit. So that means I got an archer. This dude just got one of those decks that just kills all my stuff. So let's just go back right into this. I'll drop an Ice Spirit just in case he drops his Inferno Tower. He's going to Fireball. Guys, remember, Fireballs are okay. Fireballs are okay. Now, I'm just going to let that go because I'm down on Elixir. I'm pretty low. Um, I am going to go ahead and Knight, though, because Bombers do tons of damage. But I'm going to do a mini push here with the Bandit and the Poise. Oh, we just missed that Musketeer. It's all right. The Bandit will kill it real quick. And the Bandit's going to get a charge on the tower at full health. So... There we go, guys. So, as you can see, it's not just a mortar deck. What I find, why the bandits in this deck, is because I find that people let their guard down um, against stuff like that when they're playing a mortar deck. Like, they won't they won't play as hard. Let me just drop an Ice Spear right here. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they're not expecting a bandit to come flying at their tower, so they won't defend it as super well as they could. Um, okay, let's see. All right, we have to stop this Hog Rider. Oh, it was one tile off. It's all good, guys. It's all good. He's going to fire a ball that for some goofy reason we're gonna kill this bomber we're just gonna go with another bandit push and let's just drop a poison here let's see what he does okay so this time he will defend it like I said guys people uh, that's excellent log dude thank you for that good log that was great log value let's go here with this let's freeze it and now this mortar will shoot the tower when it awakes unless he does that but at this point we're just poisoning cycling I don't think I said that yet at this point we're just poisoning cycling. It's no big deal right now to just poison cycle this dude down um, for the win. Right, let's go here. All right, he's going to do that. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. We're going to go here. He did freeze. He did get all that with his freeze spell, which was just impressive. That was an impressive freeze. Like, I'm actually impressed here. All right, come on, kill it. One mortar shot. Give me one mortar shot. There we go. That's game right there, guys. We beat a hog freeze deck. A kind of like trifecta weird hog freeze deck. Now, as you see, the bandit's what won it for us. Now, it's iffy about putting the bandit in here. Some of my clan mates said it was stupid, uh, which it is in theory. You know, a bandit deck and a mortar. I mean, a bandit and a mortar deck. That's just goofy, but it works because people put their guards down. So you can catch them with their pants down and shove a mine around. <laughs> okay, let's just jump into another battle before I finish that analogy. Um, so, here we go. This dude's a level 11, um, so good for this guy. I feel like he's probably a maxed out level 11. I hate those guys. Yep, what did I just say? <laughs> level 10... 
A level 10 rare is close enough to max out in my opinion. But luckily our new level 6 poison should do some work to it. So he's going to do all this over here. So I'm just going to go with my archers and my knight to stop his knight. Doesn't look like he's going to play a poison spell down or anything. My archers are losing this fight. Let's go into here. Oh, he's got an expo. What? Why do you have an expo? Oh, the bandit. Come on, bandit. Get in there. Charge it. Get in there. Yes, there we go. That's beautiful. That's what I like to see. All right, so those are just going to... That's weird. You know what? I'm okay. Like, I'm pretty cool with this. This is kind of cool. You know, playing two weird siege decks. Um, Except his is Graveyard, which is just strange. Uh, that's really weird, an Expo Graveyard deck. I guess he's just using Expo all the time on defense. I don't know. I can't pretend to know what this dude's doing. Let's go ahead and get our poison down. Um, and see what he does. Let's stop that at the bridge because he's doing the same thing for some reason. Um, <laughs> it makes you predictable. Don't be predictable. Um, he did the exact same push twice in a row. It's a little bit actually a little bit goofy. Um, but we're gonna do the same thing. So I don't know why I said it. All right, let's go bandit over here and ice spirit just in case he drops an expo. He doesn't have an expo, but we do have a bandit on the tower. All right, guys. That mortar's going to shoot that E-Wizard. I'm going to log it to kill it. And that bandit's over there on that tower. And we have a mortar on this tower doing absolute work. This dude's deck gets weirder and weirder, guys. I don't understand it. He's probably going to play his expo here. Yeah, he is. Uh, but here's the problem. I'm dead broke. Um, so we're just going to have to let the expo go. Our bandit can take a care of it pretty easily. There we go. The bandit's got it. The bandit's got it. And I'm going to drop an ice spirit here to help out. All right, that was well played. That was well played, sir. Sir, I just wanted to tell you it was well played. This is such a weird deck. Like, I don't understand this deck. It doesn't make any sense to me. Let's go here. Let's go here. Oh, you little bastard. <laughs> He's going to drop his expo, which is going to do some serious damage to us, which means we're probably going to lose this match, guys. But this was weird. This is like, I've never seen a deck like this before in my entire life. Like, I'm not even being exaggerating right now. Oh, we need to stop it. Oh, we didn't stop it. And that expo is going to kill my E-Wizard, which really sucks. Oh, that's that's game right there. Strange deck. Strange deck. Good game. Wow. That was weird. Like, he played the expo is what killed me there because I was broke. I don't know. Like, I feel like any kind of beatdown deck would just destroy that. I don't know. Let me look at it. I don't feel like that's a very good deck. Don't try that deck, guys. Try my deck. It's better. <laughs> we didn't lose too many trophies from that because he was so high above us. Uh, but we are going to level 11 Spirit Goblins, dude. That's not even scary. Like, you're you're not even you're not even scary, bro. Level 11 Spirit Goblins, dude, get out of here. <laughs> level 11 Minions, dude. That's going to be two shot by my tower. Not even scary, bro. Not even scary. Let's go into here. All right. Dude, this dude... Level 8 rare. That's not bad. That's like what my rares are, but that's pretty low level for what I'm used to facing. You know what I mean? Like, you, most people have like level 10 rares as you just saw. Come on, please kill this giant. There we go. All right, we're going to get about two shots on this tower. Please stay behind him, archers. And we're already back to our mortar. We're actually cycling quite fast. Dude, this dude's got weird level cards. He's like strangely under leveled. This is a first for me, guys. I don't think I've ever played anybody who's this under leveled before. Like, this is weird. This is actually weird. Like, why is this guy so underleveled? So, we're back to our mortar. He played a Sparky against an E-Wizard. Not your smartest move. Oh, thank you, E-Wizard. You beautiful. I thought for a second you weren't going to shoot. Alright. There we go. No problem. Let's just go in with a Bandit because I feel like he's broke. Um, and he just wasted those arrows. I don't know if this dude's just like... I don't know. This is weird. I've never played someone underleveled before. I feel kind of, I, this kind of feels good. Is this how level 12s feel with maxed out cards? Like, <laughs> I have such low level cards, um, especially my rares. My rares are my lowest thing. They're just so bad. So, let's get into this. He's going to drop a Sparky again. Um, we're going to save our E-Wizard because we don't know what's up yet. Oh, that was such a bad poison spell. Guys, don't take notes from me. I suck. Let's just log all this back. Let's try and absorb that shot. There we go. 
And Mortar, all we need is one more shot from you. And you can't do it. I understand, Mortar. You just, you're, I'm not upset. I'm just disappointed. Let's get another Mortar down. Let's try and take this tower for this giant gets here. And then we'll get ready to kill it. Alright, so he's going to do that. All that work. The Mortar will take care of that. No problemo. Let's go into here. And absorb a sparky shot. Let's log it down. Two giants. That's just not okay, guys. We're going to drop our mortar over here to where we can kill this giant super easily. Um, I'm sorry I'm getting a little bit quiet. I'm concentrating. Whenever I play sparky, I have to concentrate because it's like if you mess up, sure, it's easy to counter. Uh, but if I mess up, I'm dead. Um, that's, that's the worst thing about it. Just in case he drops his Skarmy down. Oh, I almost predicted it. I knew he had it in cycle. So that's going to be a good game, dude. Um, we're going to do one more battle. Like, I want to win three straight. And this is ladder. Um, ladder's not super difficult for me right now because of my trophy range. Ooh, a giant chest. There we go, guys. While I was on my little break due to air server, um, I did get a super magical chest. And I did get a Sparky out of it. Um, but a giant chest is very welcome. We're going to get a ton of bats out of that. Probably. Most likely. Um, but anyway, guys, let's jump in to our last battle. I don't want to do too many because we have our crown chest coming up that we have to knock out. Um, so, good luck. I'm not, we have another level 12. A level 12. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I just Sometimes I just have to say it like that. It just makes me laugh. Um, so, we have a maxed out level 12. Probably with a maxed RG. Um, so, let's see what he's got with for me. That seems like all level 12s. Only play that. Wow, my Ice Spirit actually made it. Um, we're actually going to drop a Knight here just to keep my one Archer alive. He's going to do the same thing. <laughs> okay, we've literally married. He's playing the OG Mortar deck. Um, so this is definitely a Cancer match coming up, if you didn't know that. Any time two Mortars play each other, it's always Cancer. 100% of the time. So, I'm not super worried here. We're going to like cancel each other out. I'm just going to cycle a card. Um, and there we go. He's playing the 2.6 mortar deck. This is what I got the 5k with last season. Um, I just I just don't feel it's as good as it could be. Um, it's a little bit lacking nowadays. Really, dude? I mean, okay. I know like you're probably predicting some kind of stalemate here, but dude, come on. Alright, let's see what he's got for me. He's just gonna play his mortar in the middle. It's Drop an ice spirit over here. Let's go. Let's poison all this right there. Come on, give me a shot. Nope. Knight, stop you from getting the shot. So we have a maxed out 2.6 motorcycle deck, um, which is unfortunate because he's always going to have his uh, mortar when I have mine. And let's go here. I'm not going to give him any more rocket value. Yeah, so he's just going to go ahead and spend his rocket right there. Let's go here. And we're actually going to log right there. And we're going to poison this. All of this, actually. Oh, he keeps dropping stuff directly into my poison spell. It's actually pretty legendary. Did my... What? Did my mortar die? Really? I didn't even know what this had died. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and do this. Sorry. <laughs> I like to repeat myself. <laughs> there you go, Bandit. There you go. Do work. He's actually going to wind up rocketing. Oh, I thought he was going to rocket my mortar. Um, there we go. Let's do this. He's probably going to win with just rocket cycle because he's already decided that's what he's going to do to win. Um, that's why, I don't know, that's kind of why I didn't enjoy playing that deck too much. It Most games just turned up to be rocket cycle games. To where if you didn't rocket cycle, you lost the game. <laughs> that's just kind of how it worked. He's already back to his rocket, actually. Um, which means we have to stop this knight. And get this down. And get this down. We haven't dropped our E-Wizard too much. It's actually pretty weird. Usually it's the card I play the most. Like, I need a good Mortar Lock on if we're going to win this at all. Um, let's do this. I want to distract that Mortar. Oh, it's already locked. It doesn't matter. And that's good game. So we lost to the Cancer Mortar Cycle deck. Um, I know I say it's Cancer, but I played it all last season. 
but it's whatever. We almost would have won. Um, I I didn't I don't have a rocket in this deck purposely because I don't think that's any fun. Um, but anyway, guys, we are 15 minutes into the video. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you did enjoy. If you liked it, leave a sub. Thank you so much for the support lately. And I'll see you guys in the live stream in a few hours. Peace out, homies.